Dan Cracker. I'm a peerless fighter and all around good fella. Yar, welcome to the 80s Toy Museum. <laughs> Watch this, guests. And I've got rings on me fingers to commemorate a piece of loot. Okay, I won't do the whole review in a pirate voice. Piece of loot that I have been waiting a long time to get. It is Captain Cracker from Super 7. And if you're interested in picking him up for yourself or for a friend or family member for a gift, he is available at Big Bad Toy Store. Arrgh, add him to your pile of loot. And in behind there, I've got my Thundercats collection. One of the few figures I still don't have and probably never will because the price of it is really skyrocketed. I'm a famous pirate hereabouts. Captain Cracker was one of the later Thundercats figures that came out in the original LJN toy line. And, uh,. Don't think I'll be getting the vintage one, but Super 7 has done a new one. It's part of their their Ultimates Classics line. And this is the one of the figures that I'm really hoping will blend in perfectly with the vintage figures in terms of size. Packaging, as always, is really, really nice. Mentioned it in the uh, recent 3.0 Optimus Prime review, how nice packaging can be kind of like a picture frame for a piece of toy artistry and certainly applies to Super 7's Ultimates designs. Nice metallic sheen on the front there. Give way, lubbers! Captain Cracker, score to the seven space seas, is here! Super well packed. The fact that it comes in a mailer box and then this is in plastic and then there's a slip cover to protect it even further. There's good old Captain Cracker Gotta be the worst pirate I've ever heard of. Oh, me matey! And a couple of different accessories, an extra head, and his little feathered friend there. Timber the timber! Timber the timber! And a piece of artwork on the back. Hard to tell if it's artwork or an actual picture of the toy with a little bio underneath it as well. Captain Cracker is a villainous robotic pirate who sails the galaxy in his space-faring vessel, the Jolly Rogers. Along with his talking robot parrot, Polly, Captain Cracker searches for unwary victims to plunder. A notorious and crafty criminal, he later joined forces with the evil lunatics. Despite having only one leg, he is a ruthless combatant who prefers to strike at foes with his deadly razor-sharp cutlass. It's true! It's true! Ah! And here he is, freed from his pirate prison. It's really hard not to do a pirate voice while playing around with this guy. He is instantly, perfectly posable, movable right out of the package. Don't have any frozen joints here. Articulation is is pretty standard. It's your uh, He-Man type of classics or Thundercats, all the other Thundercats Ultimates type of articulation. He's actually got really great, fantastic forward posability. A lot of the other Thundercats can't really do this. It's got me wondering how well they'll be able to sit in the Thunder Tank. But this guy won't have any problem if he wants to steal the Thunder Tank. Good idea! I think the, the biggest challenge with this guy is going to be balancing him because he's got a peg leg. He's got a hole in one foot if you've got a stand for him. Other foot doesn't have a hole. Not sure why that doesn't have a hole. Some stands have uh, double posts to secure him. So it uh, is a, a little bit of a challenge, but that's enough of a flat surface. It doesn't, it's not impossible to stand him. You're right about that. <laughs> Comes with a separate tray of accessories. So the two hands that are already installed are fist hands and he comes with a gripping hand, I guess for his sword or his knife, a slightly open hand on uh, left and on right, and then kind of a 
claw hand. No, that's interesting. He's not wearing any rings. I guess that's just a Jack Sparrow thing. And the huge advantage that this figure has over the original LJN Captain Cracker figure is that he comes not with just one poly, but two polys. Right, me hearties. And there's a little peg in the feet that you can plug into that shoulder right there. And hopefully it pegs in pretty securely. Yep, perfect. You can have Polly on his shoulder there, either with uh, wings in rest position or with wings out. It's a little bit more dynamic. And uh, I think the really nice thing for people who do own the original Captain Cracker is that, oh, that, that throws his weight off a little bit. I've noticed it's a little, little trickier to get him to stand when he's got Polly on his uh, shoulder. Still still doable though, give him the wobble test. You're going to have to do better than that, matey! Okay, so you can bump your shelf a little bit and he, he might not go flying. But the nice thing about having the extra poly is instead of just tossing it to the side in storage, if you got the original one, you can try to figure out a way to uh, let your original one have a poly too, because the original one only came with a sword. Uh, no poly and since I believe these guys are all close to the same scale I think the new Super 7 ones are generally a little bigger than the vintage ones but Captain Cracker is a small guy so I think he might blend in a little bit better than some of the other ultimates uh, this poly should be fairly fine if you're lucky enough to have the, uh, the original Captain Cracker comes with a wrench now the interesting thing about the hands is this kind of open hand is too wide to hold the wrench. This kind of claw hand, I guess that's the hand for the wrench. Yeah, that holds the wrench fairly nicely. If you want him to have a wrench, uh, this guy is just pure pirate for me. And a wrench doesn't necessarily say pirate. Blades say pirate, and he does have. I don't think so, saucy miss. On his belt. <laughs> With a um, a knife that fits in there. So, unfortunately, he doesn't have two tight gripping hands. One for his cutlass, one for his knife. You can make this work if you want. By the way, the pegs on him are fantastic. Isn't it amazing how they work? Nice floppy, slightly bendy plastic. Not as susceptible to breakage. Pops in nice and secure. You could do this, but it, it's kind of loose. I have to hold his hand up in order for it to not fall out. I'd like to be able to display him with both blades out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny that all these extra hands and but they can't actually do much. I'm just wondering if this hand is supposed to be some kind of a poly gripping hand. It would be nice if he could hold. That doesn't really work. Holding a bird by its feet. It would be nice if uh, there was some sort of clip or grip, something that Polly could do in order to rest on his hands. It doesn't seem all that all that easy. Also, if you want Polly on the shoulder, his hand basically has to be straight down. He wouldn't be able to be reaching forward anyway with a with a blade, because then the hole for Polly is all the way on the back. And like most Masters of the Universe classics or Thundercats Ultimates figures, he he can't really double hand the blade. It's not enough uh, movement there. I'm noticing another thing, a throwback to Masters of the Universe classics. This foot is a little on the loose side. So that was a problem with a lot of classics He-Man figures. And it's kind of a major problem with a guy who only has one foot 
and the other foot is a peg. That uh, is going to need to be tightened up in order to stabilize him. It's uh, making him stand a little tricky. Yes, and I admit it, I'm an old softy. And to really give him that vintage figure feel, comes with an extra head. The one that's already installed is kind of sneering, his deadly pirate gaze. And the uh, other one is just kind of more blank. Check out the neck peg hole. That is humongous. A lot bigger than normal, which should make popping the head off even easier. Yeah, that is a giant neck post. And now that really looks like the vintage Captain Cracker figure. Kind of slightly happy, dopey look to him. Which is the uh, the thing about Captain Cracker's personality. He's kind of disarming. Kind of like Captain Jack Sparrow. He wouldn't think he'd be all that sinister. Shiver my jibbers! And if you want to take it one step further, the original Captain Cracker did not have this belt and knife. And it looks like it should be fairly easy to remove. And it is. Take that right off. The coloration on the shirt and the vest is different. Other than that, that is pretty much looking like a vintage Captain Cracker figure. And a really nice missing piece of my Thundercats collection because I've got all the mutants, Mumra, Captain Shiner, Rataro, that piece of crap, Safari Joe, piece of garbage. And it's really nice to be able to stick Captain Cracker back in there too since he had multiple animated appearances. And before I put them alongside some vintage Thundercats figures, the Thundercats! Gonna do a couple of side-by-sides with some other vintage pirates. How you doing, you old pirate? On Solo, three and three quarter inch original Star Wars figure. And here's another three and three quarter sailor with a bird named Polly. Shipwreck. And I stand corrected. This has got to be the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Captain Jack Sparrow. And Jack Sparrow came with... I got two different Jack Sparrow figures. I forget which one came with which base, but this base right here... If you're looking for a great base for Captain Cracker, this would be a fantastic one because it has all this loot and bounty and booty. I don't think the peg hole, no, the, the post for the peg hole is just way too small, but look pretty cool if you can balance him. It's already kind of tricky to balance him on a flat surface. No, that's not too bad. It's funny, the pose right there is Captain Jack saying, Don't steal me loot! And you could even pillage Captain Jack even more. No! By, uh, well, the hat doesn't really fit all that well. But, uh, you can take the rum. Why is rum gone? And you can have his weird claw gripping hand kind of, sort of, gripping the rum. But why is the rum gone? But for me, the most important thing is how he scales with vintage LJ and Thundercats toys. I'm hoping he's not too big. Captain Cracker is supposed to be kind of a bit smaller than all the other characters, and he's absolutely perfect. So this is why I initially, this guy wasn't really on my radar, because I thought he's going to be way too big. I'd rather just try to hunt down an original one. But now there's no need, so I guess I can do one of those missing piece graphics here. Got Captain Cracker, not that I'm a completist, but it's about the character. I love the character. You do? And I like to have a representation of the character. Wise decision! So he's a little smaller than Captain Shiner. He's uh, a little even more smaller than Mumra. He should be dwarfed by Mumra. And a Viking, but very, very pirate-like. Also sailing the high seas is uh, Hammerhand. And he's smaller than Hammerhand. That's important. Panthro, the original 
Panthro figure was a strange one. He was really short. He's like the shortest Thundercat. So that's a little odd scaling right there. But don't care. And he's smaller than Lion though. With time to add him to the collection shelf. I think I'll leave Rataro where he is because he's kind of with the mutant group right here. One guy I will move though is this walking underwear stain. Safari Joe. I never did trust a landlubber. That looks really, really awesome. It's so cool to have this character included with this other giant slew of colorful, wonderful characters. It's an awesome cartoon. And very happy to be able to include this classic 80s pirate to the collection. We'll bully the barbers! And have them blend in so perfectly too. And I found a use for that wrench. It looks a lot more fitting in Panthro's hand so he can do some repairs on the Thunder Tank. It's no Samo flange, but it'll get the job done. What the f*** is a Samo flange? So if I were to do a best part, worst part, to borrow an armchair director's gimmick on this figure, I'd say the worst part about him it's actually hidden by Ma Mutt. Oh, good boy, good boy. Uh, that ankle is one of the worst parts about him. It needs to be a lot sturdier to hold up a figure with a peg leg. And then the other worst part is the price. He is a little on the high side. Says you! But he's also much, much cheaper than a vintage Captain Cracker figure that's used, beat up, has paint wear. This thing is brand new, minty fresh, and just just look at it. He, to me, doesn't stand out. Even though he has more points of articulation, the uh, sculpt, the detail, the style is very much in the LJN style. So I'm very glad they didn't decide to go hyper detail on this one. That's all for now. I want to give a few thanks. Thank you, Patreon Tribe, for supporting the channel. And thank you, Channel Panel, the channel members, also for supporting the channel. Very much appreciated. Thanks to everyone who's been tuning into the live streams. Awesome hanging out with you in real time. And thank you right now for watching this video. Appreciate you taking the time. Until the next video, I hope your hobby makes you happy.